Hey folks, I'm going to give you a tour on the uh, solar and wind power and the battery bank heaters that I, that I put in there, my hydro mats, and show you what kind of power we're doing, a little update, and show you what I'm running and everything. Alright, well, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, well, I'm going to take you to the little tour. Alright, yeah. Okay, guys and gals. Well, this is a... Uh, um, I'm running this heater in my shop. I usually keep it down at 59 degrees. Uh, right now it's just at 65. But it only burns 800 watts. And this this is well well insulated, a well insulated building. It's like an Eden Pure type heater, and they're really good on energy. And I'll show you the results here later on. I burn uh, run a laptop out here. Then I got computers inside the house. All that good stuff. Plus I got my 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 internet Wi-Fi and cable box and HD and TV antennas, telephones, landlines, that kind of stuff. Air, I run the air conditioner in the summertime, um, all the time, and the humidity. I run this all the time to keep my computers and my electronics, my electronics all uh, nice and. Uh, warm or cool but I usually keep it at 59 degrees but and it stays really comfy out here it's 62.9 I'm in here and outside is 35.6 30, 30 degrees of wind chill it's a really nice windy day today the winds blowing out of the north but I usually keep this thing at let's see here 59 degrees so yeah so it really helps out a lot so anyway just just keep the not the cool chill off in here and uh, anyway this is my Cape Cod wind and it, it is going to town y'all so I got like a 15 mile an hour, 10 mile an hour. I mean, it is crazy out there today. Oh, Arctic blast moving through here. That's a nice, nice, nice piece of equipment. And you can see the uh, barometer and the wind indication. It's a nice little setup, y'all. I love traditional weather stations. But they're good to go. Really good to go. Almost a, almost a 20 mile an hour wind there. Okay. Let me take it to a tour. All right, okie dokie. Trying not to pan around too much. But anyway, got a new insulated door um, put up here. I had an interior door, but that thing started warping. Not good, because <laughs> I don't keep this shop heated all the time, the outside shop. Only when I'm working out here, I keep the, uh, I keep it going. I use wood stove and I got a propane um, jet heater to get it warm fast. But right now the temperature in here is 44 degrees. So yeah, y'all. Um, but yeah, it, it, if you're not out here all the time, it doesn't pay to heat it. It's just, it would cost too much money. Too much money. But we do pretty good. Um, I take you out here. Um, got a three-ton heat pump right there. Train. 
I got an oil demand electric hot water heater. I run that hot tub 24 7, but I keep it at 65 degrees until we get ready to get in it. That's when I, uh, that's when I uh, turn the heat up. Alright. Anyway, let's go on out here. She is windy today. And that's my new antenna I put up yesterday. It's going to town. Love that HD stacker antenna. Alright. It's February 5th. Um, about 12.49 in the afternoon. And I gotta watch these landmines. Good God. I hate them things. You need to give me a new dog scoop. Poop scoop. Anyway. See the wind turbines are going to town, y'all. And the anemometer is cranking. I got my own and, uh, I'm gonna show you the outside of the shop. Make y'all a little tour. This is a small off-grid. Big system here. Solar air heater. Y'all seen? Uh, but all together, I got 20, 2,690 watts of solar. Not including the small off grid. And look at that. The wind blew my John boat over. We had some 29 mile an hour gusts. <laughs> I gotta set that thing back up here. Later. This solar panel is from a small grid system. So all together that's about um, about 245 watts of solar from a small grid system, a separate little system of that. This is a system now. And the wind terms are cranking. And uh, yeah, 2690 watts total. She's doing a great job. Emma Davis, Vantage View again. What, Vantage Pro 2? Yeah. Here are Sierra Solar Panels. Love those panels. The wind turbines are doing a heck of a job. There's the wind maxes. Take y'all inside. All right. Shop. All right. That's my my garden. I had to show y'all that. I got neighbors have been. Ha I don't have many trees in my yard. Oh, I got some pine trees. But the neighbors have been uh, wanting to get rid of the leaves and say, "Hey, bring them on over to my house." So I put them all in the garden, man. That's excellent stuff for the garden. Don't ever throw away leaves. That's great recyclable stuff right there, y'all. Plus it helps the garden out. But yeah, y'all, I hope y'all can hear me. These turbines are cranking. But the battery heaters are working tremendously. I mean, y'all, I mean, if y'all live in cold climates, like I do, they are the bomb. Let me close the door. Oh, that's Miss February, by the way. How you doing? Florida sportsman, fishing girls. Anyway, uh, got a new solar electric handbook. I recommend this to anybody get into solar or anything like that. It's a great thing to have. 
Uh, but right now, we are kicking out the power. We're at right at 2,000 watts, 2,100 watts, and the wind, I mean, the amp's just unreal. Um, uh, anyway, it's just going to town. The wind is, there's my analog meter. Nothing like a good old standby, standby analog. But y'all seen enough wind videos. But the battery temperature is at 69 degrees Fahrenheit, which is right at 20 degrees Celsius. And these battery heaters are um, doing great. I got my fans covered up to keep the heat in my coffin box and all that good stuff. But yeah, the uh, today so far, we have produced 3.9 kilowatt hours of power. 3.9. All right. I'm not sure kind of what we've done on the uh, what we did on the uh, 5,080 is what we actually produced today so far. And I'm going to show you shunt B is my wind. We made 1,270 watts. That's max charge rate. That's peak watts. Not too bad. Um, I'll show you the graph. All right. State of charge, 100%. There's battery, oh, the battery temperatures are really helping out a lot. The battery heaters, I mean. Shunt A, right at 2,600 watts, 2.6. Um, it's kicking, y'all. Next, Shunt B, that is going to town, y'all. Going to town. Chunt C is a midnight solar kid. Doing a great job. All right, let's get on out of here. Well, I'll show you something else. Hold on. Um, flexing that graph. Next. Next. And right there, sorry y'all, is how much power, the watts right there. It's showing many watts we're putting out with the wind turbines. It's going right along. So, yeah, I had to share that with y'all. Tells you right to the T. This is a FlexNet DC on the Mate 3. What's doing? But yeah, great power. And that's about a uh, 12 mile an hour wind. Nothing right now, but anyway. see here 13 mile an hour 16 400 watts 440 450 570 she's going up up and down right along anyway I'm not gonna bore y'all with this uh, but anyway a total system wind and solar we're breaking out 
about uh, 195 watt, 1,900 and um, 2,000 watts. Excuse me. Like when uh, I mean it, it's kicking. But anyway, uh, but the battery heaters, you know, if y'all saw my other videos, they're they're hydro mats inside here, inside my battery bank. And I'm going to show you that it really works. I'm not trying to break, but this is my electric bill, y'all. $11.60. That's where from December 13th through January 13th. And right here, last January burnt. 1,136 yes sir yes ma'am 1,136 kilowatts and this January burnt 25 kilowatt hours so and then shows my charges tax distribution all that good stuff so yeah it's, it's working great y'all it's working really good Anyway, um, and right now we're running 83 watts with the uh, kilowatt meter, and that's my fan from Outback. Just got on my Outback converter. That's a DTFX 2524, and uh, we're running 83 watts, and the battery bank is at sixty nine degrees Fahrenheit or twenty degrees Celsius. So yes. And yes it does help a lot. I mean there's my bill. I mean to show you, show you how much it's helping. I'll set my electric bill. And that's just twenty seven hundred watts of solar. A 2690 with 2,000 watts of wind. That's what we'll do for you. So, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Okay, y'all, this is uh, it for the video. I just want to show y'all how, how good it will help your electric bill out. Uh, solar and wind will really help you out if you do it yourself. Um, recommend getting a certified electrician to give me a hand. Uh, that's just my my uh, my philosophy, my P's and Q's. But yeah, I mean, or just read a lot of books, but definitely get a certified electrician to give me a hand. All right, y'all, y'all take care. I did. I had a certified electrician give me a hand with mine. Uh, the hookups, inspect everything, all that good stuff. Come behind me. So, all right, y'all. Well, thank you for watching. Y'all take care now. Please subscribe. Um, God bless and Semper Fi. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, sorry about it, y'all. Back again. Uh, this is my new camera. This is my Panasonic H7850. Um, you can you can film yourself while you're videotaping and videotape your other stuff too. But it's a Panasonic H HCW850. And it is the bomb, y'all. Nice little camera. Let me put my CNI glasses back on. Oh, yeah. Gotta have my old man Ray Bans on. But anyway, but this is a cool camera. You can flip it around and you get your wind turbines in that way. Or you can flip it over here. Anything you want to do with it. Pretty bad to buy <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all take care. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all take it easy now. Simplify. God bless simplify. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.